Today on Nightline, the 2023 TCA Conference, a chance for driver voices to be heard, and a trucker saves a woman from a burning car. I'm Megan Phillips for Nightline. This past weekend, the Truckload Carriers Association had their annual conference where panels talk about changes and trends in the industry and notable individuals are recognized. Night Refrigerator driver Richard Bower was named 2022 Driver of the Year. Richard was born hearing impaired, but that has not stopped him from succeeding in the trucking industry. He's an exemplary driver in both his spirit and his safety record, and we're so happy to see him get his award. We'll have a full video profile on him coming out next week. And he's not the only member of the Knight family who was spotlighted by the TCA. Senior VP of Equipment and Government Relations, Dave Williams, was named chairman of the organization. We're so excited for both Richard and Dave and can't wait to see them flourish in their careers. Hey, do you want to win a $100 gift card? Well, if you're a Knight driver, you can by filling out our 2023 biannual driver engagement survey. We want to hear from you and the feedback we receive from driver surveys allows us to improve and make changes that directly impact you. You can find the survey in the menu of KT Mobile and it will be open through March 30th. And again, you can win a little something something just for filling it out. Last month, night driver Tony found himself in a scary situation. With a flaming car on the side of the road and a woman in trouble, Tony wasn't faced. But you don't want to hear me recap the scenario. I chatted with Tony to get the dramatic details straight from the source. Lady passed us up. We were doing 65, she was doing about 70, 72. And she went in front of us and she blew her rear tire in her van and she lost full control. And um, when she lost control, the van went this way and straight into the trees and the van was on fire. So jumped out of the truck, ran around to the driver's side real quick, grabbed the uh, fire extinguisher and took off. Her face was all bloody, she broke her nose, uh, the airbag got her. The flames were starting to go into the van by this point. Um, so I kept trying to get her out, trying to get her out, trying to get her out. I had to break the driver's side window. The fires was, was probably maybe 15, 20 seconds away from her. And another guy finally came out and helped me get her out of the van at the very end right there. And uh, if he hadn't come, I don't know what I would have done. We couldn't, I couldn't have got her out by myself. About 10 seconds after we got her out of the van, it was gone. Thank you for your heroic actions, Tony. Mm -hmm. That horn means it's time to enter the speed zone. Facts flying in at 65 miles per hour. Hey drivers, we want your photos. We will be having a March Madness style tournament of driver submitted photos. Pick out your best shot and send it to us via DM on Instagram or Facebook or email it to nightcommunications at nighttrans.com. You could be the March Madness champion. Do you have a student going to Arizona State University? If so, they may be eligible for the Randy Knight Scholarship. This is a $10,000 scholarship that is for an ASU student who is the dependent of a Knight employee. This scholarship can be renewed for up to four years if all criteria is met. That's a potential of $40,000. The application deadline is March 26, so don't put this off. Click the link in the description to apply. Have you taken this month's safety course in Knight University yet? The topic for March is the Smith system. Remember, taking this course is required for you to qualify for the safety component of your monthly bonus. The goal for the fuel efficiency bonus in the month of March is 7.3 miles per gallon. If you're looking for tips on how to increase your fuel efficiency, we made a video on that. You can find it on the driver portal. Congrats to our newest million milers. It would take the average American 70 years to drive 1 million miles. So it's gonna take me a long time to catch up. Thank you to all of you for your dedication in moving freight down the highway every day. And finally, congrats to our highest performing terminals for the month of January. Our highest performing large terminal was Gulfport and the highest performing small terminal was SoCal Ports. Whether you're on the road or in the office, it's team effort. Nice job to everyone from those terminals. Are you subscribed to Night Transportation on YouTube? If not, what are you waiting for? Get notifications for these videos and all of our latest stories. And check us out on Facebook, Instagram, LinkedIn, and TikTok so you can keep up to date with everything we do. I'm Megan Phillips. For the latest in all news night, this has been Nightline. Good night and good truck.